All right, everyone. So this is um, going to be about um, websites, domains, and uh, anything you would need for hosting. Now, the one thing that has, um, you know, got me down is that I never coded my own website. I think that um, as we move forward into everything becoming more digital, um, is that we're going to need to do this ourselves and and like, you know, you pay this, you pay like 20 bucks a month for like some service fees on like Wix or Squarespace or even Bluehost um, or something like that. And you pay for the renewal of your domain. I mean, aside from paying the renewal of your domain, um, I mean, I don't think, I think you can just pre-program most of the stuff in there and and it would be a lot cheaper than having to pay um, those $200 yearly fees or however you're doing this um, as well. I just got um, you know a bill on my uh, uh, Wix account and I was like, $300 or it's like $325. And, and I'm like, why am I paying these people anymore? Like really, why am I doing that? Like, it's like, they don't, like, they're taking enough of, you know, my fees, they're taking enough of it, like, credit card is freaking, pro is, is processing it, uh, almost swore there, uh, the, the credit card company's process, takes processing fees, and, and it's like, okay, if the credit card company is going to take processing fees anyways, and, and I'm going to need to get a domain. Why can't I just, you know, you know, code the website myself and just do all that? And, and I know that's very timely. And, but it's like, I, I know enough where I can do it. And, and I may have my struggles, but guess what? I'm going to be in control. And, and any website I build out from now on, I'm going to just make sure that I have my own domain or... Um, I use like a .io if I'm using GitHub or something like that. Um, yeah, there is that. Now, I do want to mention that, you know, GoDaddy has great um, domains. I think you can, yeah, and you can also get them through Wix and uh, Bluehost, or sorry, Blue or Gatorhost or Blue Gator. I forgot the name of it, and Squarespace. And, and then you could do like some WordPress stuff, I guess, um, if you really want to get into that. Um, it, it's not as complicated as you may th may think at all, but but I think you know we make the mistake of wanting this convenience. You know, we will pay extra not to write things out or code things out. But I think that's a bit of a mistake. I mean, uh, you, you know, you have to be careful of who you give power to and, and don't give all of it your power away. And sometimes, yes, I recognize that you're going to need, you know, that person that come in and help. Just be careful who you choose and how much um, power you give up um, because, you know, it, it definitely takes it could take a hit like a $200 service fee on Wix or a $300 service fee on Wix. It's not, it's not the best way to do things. Now it's definitely convenient, but, but I'm going to, I think it's time like that we start coding the, this ourselves. And if you really don't want to code, just pay someone like a thousand bucks, get it done. Your domain is ready to go and it's pretty much yours forever. Um, and I think maybe with the exception of just renewing the domain, uh, would that make any sense? And, and yeah, so that'll do it for this one. It, just remember that, um, you know, we always had to, that originally when the internet story started, you you were the one that had to code it out 
I even think Jeff Bezos might have uh, been a part of that. Um, I mean, he really, uh, I mean, it was the 90s and it was like, like, yeah, you needed to code that out yourself. There was no drag and drop. And, and now I do like drag and drop. It's convenient, but, but if you don't need to pay 200 or $300 a year to a site like Wix or Squarespace, then don't. So that'll do it for this video. Um, until the next one, stay safe, stay great, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Peace.